You look at a truck carrying plywood, screws, foam, fabric, varnish and sandpaper in a company's warehouse. In view of all that I said to you that you are entering through the door of this company's warehouse, what do you imagine a company that works with wood, with plywood, with screws, with foam, with sandpaper, with varnish? What do you think what does it manufacture? Does it make cell phones? Does this company make tires? When we look at a company that includes plywood, screws, sandpaper, varnish, fabric, foam in its warehouse, it inevitably works in some branch of furniture. Everything that goes in makes me have a reading of what will come out. This company's expedition will take out the result of everything that entered. If you pass by someone and see someone buying mortar, cement, nails and floors, what do you imagine that person will do? What is she doing? What is she carrying? What is she buying? What is she putting in her car? What is she taking home? Can you give me a good definition of what she's going to do? Be frank, if you saw someone with mortar, cement, with nails, with floors, you would probably say in your mind, this person is doing work on her house. And what does she want with it? She wants comfort. Look, you don't know who the person is. You don't know where they live. You passed in front of a company. You know very few things, but you are able to have discernment that goes beyond the eyes. The physical eyes will send a message to your mind and it will try to understand what is happening and you will discover that that person is carrying out a work and the purpose is comfort. All the people who do works do it to improve comfort. If you passed someone and if, if you come across this someone with meat, sausage, coarse salt, charcoal, what do you imagine this person is doing? A work? Probably not. This person is having a barbecue, but you are not. You know, but what she's carrying, what she's bought, what she's taking, what's under her arms, what she's put in her car, is telling you what she's going to do. To the work of the other who is going to do a work. Will this one live a moment of leisure or celebration? Look, dream of watching people. We can get a sense of what's going into them, what they're doing, what they're taking into their homes, into their lives. It's going to give me a sense of the future of these people. Seeds? Let's imagine someone going to buy drugs. Come on. The individual went to a drug den to buy drugs. What is he going to do? A barbecue? No. He's going to dope. What's his purpose? It's feeding your addiction. When we look, and that's the bait. Definition. When we look at people, looking at ourselves, and we see our literature, our social network groups, our friends, we are actually presenting who we are to the world. When we look at this definition, it is very important that we understand what we are allowing into our lives, what we are taking into our home, into our context, why we are seeing people so discouraged, why we are living and seeing people who are so pessimistic, because they, they are listening to stories of pessimism. They are inevitably hearing and seeing news of death. We cannot wait for what they are going to say. Their perspectives, they tell all their misfortunes for the end. In an extremely pessimistic tone, you know, in a very small thing. Saying like this, she says like this. No, it's not because the money is gone. Because the virus is killing everyone. Because corruption is installed there. Because chaos is there. But God is faithful, you know. But in the end it will make it all right. And what counts is not what's happening around me. It's what I'm taking into my home. It's what I'm taking into my life. It's what I'm allowing into my expedition. I need to understand that type of goods I will receive in my warehouse, because depending on what will enter my warehouse, I will know in advance what will come out in my shipment. When we look at this structure, what do we see? How are we going to light our mind? Because when I light up my mind, it starts sending actions into my life. She begins to establish choices. She begins to create an environment where success and prosperity inevitably begin to approach me. Primitive man will return. Life ended with nightfall. Nightfall man has to take shelter. Because the night night and with the night the ferocious animals that come out. The night the darkness sets the limits and everything is fine. Until man discovered fire in a bonfire. And the bonfire gave him the possibility to have some activities and much more than that. That, to protect himself from animals. The fire there in a bonfire gave him three, four, five meters. He could maintain some kind of activity around that light. It was very limited. But that was what you had, until he discovered a torch and the torch gave him the possibility to go a little further, to light a little further, 10, 15, 20 meters, as long as the torch was lit, because he had light to break through the darkness, but the torch did not allow him to go very far. Then the fuel appeared and the fuel he says that as long as it exists the light is on, remember? A fire will burn continuously under the altar, that's how it works, as long as there was fuel there was no fuel, the fire ended, the light went out. Today what we still see today people around bonfires are extremely limited and we have to live with and respect the bonfire of these lights and others got the fuel. As long as it exists we will break through the darkness, you know, a tall lamp, you don't take a lamp.
Everything is intertwined and placed underneath. Every time you take a lamp, you put it on the candlestick, put it on top so that it gives amplitude, so that it illuminates, so that it can take our mind, our thinking, our reasoning for another lifestyle. Today we see people walking around us with torches, with limited vision. Today we still see people around bonfires and today we also see people with plenty of fuel. But whether you are around a fire, whether you have a torch in your hand or a lamp, beware of presumption. Whether we are in one of the three stages that we came to understand and respect the stage of the other, that we came to see take a look at our mind and especially at our warehouse, you know? I would like to close this word here by asking you to be careful with your warehouse. Every time you stop something there and don't open the door right away, find out what is going to come out of that truck, that environment, that phrase, that group, those people, because the what will go in there will determine what will come out ahead.